Whenever a pimple rears its ugly white head, the best thing you can do is leave it alone. Pop it and you'll release a flood of infection that could spawn more pimples. Here's how. Pimples are bulging bags of oil and bacteria under the skin that have nowhere to go. Normally these bags contain oil secreting glands called sebaceous glands. You have the most sebaceous glands on your face and scalp. Oil moves out of the glands and up through your pores to lubricate and waterproof your skin and hair. But sometimes dead skin cells and bacteria get inside the pores, clogging them up. With nowhere to go, the oil builds up around the glands like an expanding water balloon. It pushes against the skin's surface, which causes redness, swelling, and pain. Popping the pimple can relieve the pain, but doing so only wins the battle, not the war, according to dermatologist Michelle Rodriguez at St. Vincent's Hospital, Melbourne. Squeezing it can result in these contents being pushed into surrounding skin, making the problem worse. It can also lead to infection and temporary darkening of the skin in that area. Also, squeezing will further irritate your already inflamed skin. If the inflammation gets too bad, it could lead to scarring. Acne is the most common skin disease, according to the National Institute of Health. Approximately 80% of people ages 11 to 30 suffer from occasional acne outbreaks. So what's the best way to beat the blemishes? Patience. If you resist the urge to squeeze, pimples will usually resolve over a week or so without scarring, 